welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to look at two really useful features within Microsoft Teams, that being private channels and tags. So within Teams we all know that we have the Teams area where you have your team and you have your channels underneath. Now by default if you add a new channel, so if I add another channel um, we'll do this as um, editing project when I press add anyone who has permission to see this team and I'll demonstrate by going to a different account will then see this new project team this new edit project channel with a private channel we can actually choose which members of the team have the visibility to see this so if I now go and press on the ellipsis go to add a channel and we'll call this um, special project where it says the privacy currently the default is standard if we go in and we pick private you'll see only accessible to a specific group of people within the team. So if I press next now, instead of it just creating the channel, it now asks me who I want to add as members. So I'm gonna add in just one member. And once I've done that, when I press done, that particular channel now appears for me and I'm, you can note that it's private because it has the little padlock on it. Now if I go to the other account, you'll see there is no sign of that channel and they, they don't know that that channel exists. Okay, the other item that I was going to show you in this video is tags. So normally you've been aware of if you go into the message area you can put at and mention someone who is part of your team. Um, and this is really good but if you want to mention a group of people it's a bit painful having to sit there doing at and putting all their names in. So what you can do instead is, if I go to the ellipsis button, you can press on that. And if I go to manage tags, it tells me I don't have any tags on this particular channel yet, on this particular team yet. So if I do create a tag, I can give it a name. So I'm going to call this the video editing super stars and I can add in members of a team once I've done that if I press create that video editing super stars tag is there so what I can do now is rather than doing at and putting the individual people's names in I can start to type video editing superstars and that will actually notify both of those people okay guys hope you found that useful if you did can you give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos please remember to subscribe and press the notification bell because I plan to do two videos a week on various Microsoft topics. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.